Ed from St. Pete Cigar. And of course, you can see to my left or right, I don't know what side he's on. We got Mike from MikeStogies.com. Oh, right. and, and Stogie 411. Oh, yeah. Which is a major That's stuff. That's right. So, yeah, uh, I guess, Mike, what's up? What's going on, man? Nothing, man, nothing. It's been a long time. I appreciate you two gentlemen taking time out for a little schmuck like me to uh, hang out, do another video review. It's been long, and I've uh, been looking forward to it. So uh, why don't we kick off, tell the folks what we're smoking, and uh, get this show on the road. Absolutely. Yeah, and it has been over a year, I think. But It has. I'm testing this new Skype machine. So anyway, we're we're doing, what are we doing? The How do you pronounce it? La Palina? La Palina. There you go. You got a good focus there. La Palina. Oh, and uh, before we get started, Ed, say hello to the people. Hey, people. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> hello, people. <laughs> there you go. I'll just read off the particulars and stop hogging the uh, the camera here. Uh, we got the. This is the. What is? How do you say that? L. Dar. L. D. R. Uh, L. Diario. There you go. L. Diario. I don't butcher that. Exactly. Country of origin, Honduras, wrapper, Honduran Corojo 99, Rosado, binder, Honduran Corojo 98, and it has a Times 2 next to it, so I assume there's two binders. Mm. Uh, Nicaraguan, the filler is Nicaraguan Corojo 99, Corojo 99, and Criollo 98. That's a, kind of a mouthful. Uh, we're doing the Gordo 6x50. And no, 6x what? 6x, no. sorry. Hold That's on, a 60. 58. It is a 6 by 58. Yeah. Close to a 60. And they run about, what, 12 bucks, 12.95. Yeah. So they're a little little costly, but whatever. Yeah. And uh, whatever it is, it is. Get, I'll get my mug off the camera and get the, the good looking. Uh, get the wise old wise man on there. Exactly. Yeah. Well, do you guys want to do, do the pre, a uh, pre smoke? Pre smoke, on? yeah. I already did mine here. I'll do the traditional. It's almost like a molasses, some type of a. Man, very nice. It's pretty very sweet. Pretty solid pack, too. Yeah, it is. And so, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm getting, sweetness. Yeah, very sweet. Well, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. All right. Not a lot of scent on the wrapper. Right Slide her up, but it looks it looks nice. Uh, you saw that's them. a nice looking cigar. It's elegant. Yeah, it's got a little bit of veins, but yeah. that's not important. I got a small blemish, Ray. I don't know if you can oh, see. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little crack. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be any pain in the ass. I hopefully not. Through. So nah. we're going to light them up. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's spark them up. What do you think, Mike? First impressions. Well, really, I'm not getting anything right away. I'm just getting tobacco, just really strong tobacco. Earthy, maybe? Slightly? Uh, uh, a little earthy, maybe? I could have sworn I got an earthy note. Maybe a slight uh, touch. I, I, I thought... Uh, tobacco, that's all I'm getting. I thought uh, it uh, tasted a little bit of leather right from the get-go. And then it turns into a little uh, sweetness towards the uh, towards the end of it. I'll say one thing: it produces a lot of smoke right away. Mm -hmm. So maybe Ed's uh, palate is, just can pick up more than ours can. That wouldn't be unusual. That would not be unusual. <laughs> it's a common occurrence. Yeah, lots of pepper. Nice pepper. Not you know what? Yeah, I just was gonna just now that bla I just got a blast of pepper. Yeah. A nice. Uh, That's it, it though. It's not for me. But it's an easy pepper. Yeah, it's not a punch in the face pepper. Yeah, not like a black pepper or whatever that burns. It, right. It it a slight burn, but not well, much. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it seems good. So how do you boys want to do this? I know you do it differently. Everybody does it differently. How do you want to do it? You want to? You mean like uh, sections of the? Yeah, we're gonna do quarters. We're gonna do uh, you halves. Wanna... You want to just stick to thirds and do the old, okay. old school? Yeah, do let's do it old school then. Yeah, yeah. screw it. All right. So it's oh. all good. Yeah, I, I got nothing to add. Do you have anything to add to this little first? No, no uh, just uh, we'll take a uh, quick short break and see what we get in the first third and go from there. 
All right. You heard Sounds it from, good. You heard it from the boss. We'll be there back. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Well, we're back here. Tom, Ed, and Mike, and we are smoking our La Polina. We're in the first third, and uh, it's going pretty good. I'm getting a lot of a, a, a pepper note. Not a not a real black pepper. or a, It's kind of like a combination to me of white and black. It's very mild, but you know it's there. It doesn't burn your nose or anything. Um, picking up mocha. Mocha's picked up for me more than it was in the beginning, where it was more in the background. And um, that's pretty much what I'm getting. But I know Ed is getting something different. So, Ed, why don't you take it away? Tell the folks what you're well, getting. Well, uh, pretty much the same as you, with the exception of the, uh, the little dry fruit that I got throughout uh, in the background. Uh, but I was getting it while I was uh, letting the smoke out the nose, you know, but very slight amounts. And uh, left a nice uh, flavor right through the nose. I can't believe it. It was uh, pretty good. Uh, I did get a touch of uh, a little couple of notes of wood also. Yeah. Uh, but mocha mostly throughout. And it got a little bit stronger now on a mocha. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So what do you think, Tom? Well, that, that fruity note went away for me. It was there at the beginning of the mm -hmm. cigar but it kind of went away but like i'm getting like certain draws where it's mostly mocha behind the pepper but then yeah. some, I, I get a, some woodiness too so i don't know yeah, touch so of i guess i'm just yeah. repeating yeah. what you guys are saying basically but yeah i think uh ed got us all up to speed because i think maybe i was missing some stuff and maybe uh, mike, maybe mike was too yeah no we definitely both were and that's funny we were talking about that in the uh, while we were off air here doing it, and uh, we were talking about smoking techniques, and right. uh, I was telling these guys that I remember about a year ago when we did a video. Ed taught me something about letting the smoke go out very slowly. You'll be surprised at some of those notes that you may miss that you'll pick up in the background. But uh, mm -hmm. maybe Ed can tell touch base on that with some people, just the you know proper techniques if you're going to try to pick up notes or something. True. Oh, and a shameless plug. I did a video on it. That's right, shameless plug. Tom, Tom, TomCigars.com. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I, but it's I give Ed proper credit. But anyway, yeah, I've uh, had also people in the past that they smoked for years and years, and uh, but I never knew what they were smoking for. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I used to be smoking next to them and tell them, "Oh, nice touch of coffee or nice touch of uh, mocha, cinnamon, spice." You know, and they say, "What the hell are you talking about?" You know. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? I said, you've been smoking for how long? Oh, about 20 years. Oh, really? And what are you smoking for? He said, it's a vice. <laughs> I said, smoke as a vice. I said, wow. I said, let's go over to the bar. I want to teach you how to smoke, you know. Yeah. So after I taught him a little bit uh, what to do, he went, wow. He couldn't believe it, the flavor that he got out of it by just taking smoke and letting it out through the nose. It makes yeah. such a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you say, um, when you let it out very slight, very slow, appreciate the flavor that's allowing to get out, you'll, mm -hmm. you'll get a lot more flavors. Well, plus, uh, you, Absolutely. plus you, you, Absolutely. Also, you also taught people to, uh, whoops, what was that? You also taught people to uh, chew the smoke a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Just to yeah. kind of stimulate your taste buds. Exactly. Yeah, you you have to. You know, uh, I had another guy. It took him six months to, uh, to 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 allow the smoke through his nose. Yeah. He couldn't get it through. You know, yeah. after he got it through, he appreciates the smoke now. You know, so that's yeah. the difference of a, well, you, a smoker. You figure when you're eating food, you're breathing through your nose, and you, which is part of your palate. A part taste. of your palate. So taste. it kind of makes sense with the yeah, smoke. Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's the way I. Yeah. Definitely. Well, you know. That's the only reason I smoke a cigar. Me too. Me too. Yeah. No other yeah. reason. Exactly. See? Ed, See? Knows his, Ed knows his shit. There's a little technique for you folks. So if you don't know it, try it. Trust me, it works. I tried it. It definitely works. Yeah, and if you're, yeah. if you're, I'll, I'll put a link on my. Uh, we're, Mike and I are both posting this video, but I'll put a link on my uh, end, so just to explains in little detail of what Ed taught all yeah. these people. Oh, and you know, we made a mistake on the price. Oh yeah, I said twelve ninety five, but it's actually eleven fifty five. So just a little correction, no, no big deal. We're not perfect. Yeah, we're just a bunch <laughs> of 
a couple amateurs with a, a you know professional. But that's for another set. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we won't get into the, into the cigar blogger topic, or will we? <laughs> we may. No, we're not. Yeah. So, I, I, do you guys have anything else to add? Uh, oh, you know. Well, uh, Jag- Burn's been a little jagged. Sorry for cutting yeah. you off. But mine has yeah. been all around perfect, but it's got a slight hole in the middle. And uh, I did uh, talk to the owners about uh, that problem, and uh, I, th- I guess they're going to try to uh, uh, fix it. Yeah. Yeah, I had to touch up a couple times, but nothing drastic. No, major. I haven't touched mine yet. Yeah. So. Well, going but, good. Yeah. What, do you, yeah. oh, what, do you, and, what do you guys think, uh, strength-wise? Uh, the strength is right now, it's maybe uh, not a medium, that's all. I agree. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm like right down the middle, medium. Medium, yeah. yeah. For, for me. Uh, that, nice pepper, though. Just I mean, a touch. Depends yeah. on how much you blow through the nose. Cause yeah, right, yeah. right. Because yeah. if yeah. you do like 75% through the nose, the pepper will get you. Yeah, yeah. it'll get you, and then you're going to say it's full body. Right. <laughs> right. so, Ed uh, tried to kill me earlier. He said, do all of it. Ed, Ed, Ed made Mike blow. Also, uh, the, the cigar does create a lot of smoke volume. A lot of smoke volume, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Ed, Ed made you blow. He, he, the whole thing through my nose, and I paid the price. But, but then he was like, no, I didn't mean the whole thing. <laughs> And we didn't argue with him because it's his shop. That's right. <laughs> Ed's the boss. Right. No, Ed's running the show. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sweet. but if you allow it to uh, uh, come, you know, go out through the nose, very slight, and a, a whole bunch is fine, but very slight, not all at once. Um, you'll appreciate the flavors that it gives right, you. It's right. a, it's a lot more flavorful. Let's put it that way. Yep. You know, uh, I yeah, agree. Yeah. 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 But I have nothing constructive to add uh, to this third, if you guys... Nothing good. Same here, so... I'm good. What do you think? You want to hit the second third and do our usual uh, little thing? Let's do it. We'll be back. We're back, Ed. They can't see you. All right. Mike, Ed and Mike, but... uh, All right, we're back from the second third. And as you can see... I corrected my burn. We've all corrected our burn. Oh, yeah. What's up with your burn, Mike? Mine? I just went out. I corrected it. It went out because I had to go do something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just relit it. It's not the cigar's fault. But you have some kind of crazy wrapper thing going on. Yeah, my wrapper is, uh, if you can see there, on the top and bottom, it's blowing, it's blowing out. Uh, and we're going to see what happens when I take the uh, band off if the whole cigar is going to explode. But... I'll let you guys go into what you got first, and then we'll do that, see what happens. I'll just cover a quick construction uh, note, and then I'll give it to Ed for flavor. How's that? But uh, The Jagged Burn. So Ed and I I were speculating. It's got a double Criollo wrapper. Yeah. Or a binder. So I'm thinking, and those generally burn wacky. Yeah. So I'm thinking that's just, that's our. Yeah, Criollo normally uh, does have a couple of slight burn problems. I'll just say on flavor-wise, it's like real, it's turn sweet and smooth. Mm -hmm. And that's that's my one sentence review right there. But let's get let's get let's get to the uh, let's get to the expert. That's it. But other than that, this uh, I haven't had any changes. It's very 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 uh, smooth at the moment with that uh, nice uh, mocha background there, all mocha actually, yeah. and uh, very s- still very creamy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little pepper, a teeny bit. Well, the pepper uh, slowed down, but yeah. it's got that tiny, it's nice pepper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, all in all, so far, it's a very nice smoke, but no no complexities. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. That, it's yeah. definitely, it's gotten smoother, creamier. The mocha's the dominant flavor now. Yeah. That pepper's way in the back with the sweetness. But yeah, it's not, it's not complex at all, I think. Still, for me, it's a medium high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really hit the full, but but uh, I'm gonna take this off here. Now let's do it. Do it on camera, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. See let's happened. see what happens. See if it explodes, or I'll try to keep it towards the spot that's bad. Yeah. yeah. I think I might get lucky. Yeah. She held on. Oh, yeah. I think wow. I think we'll be all right. As you can see, though, it's pretty well. Uh, yeah. It's wow. pretty well blown up. See that? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's coming wow. apart. We might be all right. We'll but, keep going. But I think it's a fluke. I mean. Like mine isn't blowing up and Ed's is yeah, pretty, ours is yeah. pretty good. Mine is pretty good. Yeah. I agree with you. I think yeah. it's a fluke. Handmade product, as they say. Exactly. 
Shit's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and take my... Uh, I mean, I just it's still it. still smoking good, though, as you can see, though. I mean, it's still yeah. it's still smoking without a problem, so... Hey, one thing to note, they didn't use too much glue, because that a lot of time will tear your wrapper anyway, so... Yeah. At least that didn't happen. Right. Yeah. yeah. I have that would have been... You can't take the band off. Yep. It really... Especially That's the worst. Especially for a higher dollar smoke. Yeah. Know? Exactly. Or it takes the wrapper off with it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. I hate it. Uh, yeah. There are quite a few cigars out there that does that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Hate it. But other than that, I think it's going really good. I'm enjoying it. I, I would like some more complexity, but it's like, going pretty good. Like you said before, it's a nice morning cigar, isn't it? A absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it's my first cigar of the day. It's going really good. Mm -hmm. And you're pairing with coffee, which you, you generally don't pair. Yeah. I normally don't pair with anything, but I just woke up a little while ago, right. so I needed coffee to do this review. But uh, the coffee's not influencing the taste at all because I'm not picking up any coffee notes at all. Yeah, so right. That's good. It's not hurting it at all. Ed and I are doing the standard water, of course, but yeah. it's uh, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it, this would be good with nothing. It's, it's pretty, pretty basic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very mild on your palate, too. It doesn't really linger on your palate long. No. It keeps it clean. Exactly. So. Exactly. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so right down the middle, medium. But uh, anyway, I got nothing constructive to add. Same here. Yeah, right. yeah me too. We, yeah. we can make this a quick segment if you want. Sure. We don't want to do a political rant like in between segments. <laughs> uh, be, it'll be a two-hour review. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be a long review. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, we'll, we'll give these guys a break, I guess. And We'll be right back. You can start whenever you want. All right, we are back. We are back, and uh, I. Uh, you can, uh, don't let me interrupt. I picked up a little bit of wood back here again. It stayed smooth. Uh, Peppa picked up a little bit. Uh, not much more. It uh, stayed pretty consistent, pretty uh, about the same. A couple of changes, not much more. What do you think, Mike? Go for it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, same same as Ed's getting. I'm getting the same things. The woody, dry wood note in the background. Uh, the pepper's taking over from the mocha. Um, I did burn through the issues. There was no problem, so nice. I give it I give it kudos for that. There was no no issue with that. But, uh, yeah, I think it just, it, it's a good, good cigar. I think the strength has picked up to a low full, um, yeah. but it, it's not complex at all. It's, it's, it's a good stick. But, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Nothing drastic, nothing major. Same thing Ed's getting, pretty much. Like we're all on the same page, so I'll just be redundant. The only, the only thing I can add is uh, I hate cigar bloggers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck cigar bloggers. But anyway, about the cigar. Mine was, the burn wasn't that wavy. It, I mean, construction, there's really nothing yeah. to talk about. It's fine. Yeah, it's, nice, it's fine. Nice tingle on the lip. Kind, kind of one yep, of yep. Like tongue. That. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it did develop yep. a little tingle, like a tingle on the lips and tongue. But uh, same flavor is just... We're, yeah, you know, we all on the same page. Rotating yeah. the same flavors, basically. Yeah. So nothing yeah. complex. It's, I guess, your picky smoker could say it's boring, you know. But I, I mean, I like yeah. it. I'm pretty easy to please. I'm, I'm fine. But yeah, I could see somebody not liking it just because they like complex right changes yeah, and switches exactly. and action packed. Well, uh, Mike had it. Uh, it's a good morning cigar. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I mean, just. An average good cigar. That's yeah. All. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree with you. Definitely yeah. a good cigar to get the palate going in the morning. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna wow you by any means. Yep. But it's definitely it's definitely good. But uh, that's it. Even, that's all I got. Even huh? beginners can smoke this yeah, yeah. cigar yeah. with no problem. Yeah. yeah. As long as they watch that pepper in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And grab. don't retrohale the whole thing. Don't retrohale the whole thing. <laughs> even if that tells you to, don't do it. <laughs> and then denies telling you. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> It was really good. It was good. You know. What do you think about the price for this cigar? Uh, I think it's high. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I, I think uh, it's high for, for what you're getting out of it, flavor-wise. I think it's high. Yeah. Yep. I agree. A little, little on the steep side. I mean, I could see yeah. eight bucks or something. Yep. Yep. Somewhere yep. in that for a six for a almost yeah. sixty for almost six by sixty. Yep. So yeah, yeah it's all. But other than that, I have nothing else to say. That's, no, that's done. Thanks to you guys again. I appreciate it. Ed, thanks for sending it to me. I appreciate uh, that. Thank you for having us, man. Yeah, we, no. we appreciate it. Yeah, if, this guy, 
if this Skype thing works out, we could probably do this a little more often now that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been it's been a year. I mean, we could do like several a year or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of one. <laughs> So. And, and we'll see how it goes over with the people out there. Yeah, we'll the do peeps. another one. I'm going to send uh, Mike a uh, Dumas Magnus. And, uh, we'll Maybe we'll do that. do that next. Okay, so the yeah. next review of the three of us will be the Dumas Magnus. Yeah. Ca the That's Casa good. Magna, which is beautiful. My cigar of, very, cigar of the year. Very nice smoke. It was my cigar of the year. Yeah. Great right. Mine too. Yep, and Ed's as well. Yeah, I agree. That's a so that's a little super smoke. Sneak yeah. peek into the future. There we go. A anything on Mike's Stogies or Stogie 411 you want to plug or anything? Just nope. Uh, Mike Stogies, just keep watching. Uh, and uh, Stogie 401, next show is, uh, well, this will be up after the next show. But when this goes up, the next show will be Cremo Cigar. So stop okay. in. Matt and Mike will be doing that show, actually. I'll be laid up in surgery. So check Matt and Mike out. They'll take care of business. That's nice. it. Nice, nice. Yeah, I wish you a quick recovery, brother. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. And I'll be guest hosting. There you go. No, I won't. Tom will be via satellite <laughs> from Mars. I'll do it. I'm not. He'll kidding. be on Twitter as usual. Check him out at Tom Cigar. <laughs> Real <laughs> life. Oh yeah. That's shit. Screw okay. cigar bloggers. Anyway. So yeah, that's oh. all. That's all I got. I think Ed's. Yeah. Ed's, that's basically all we got. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, it was a pleasure. All man. right, man. You have a great day. Have you a too. great Fourth of July. You too, Ed. Thanks, buddy.